everyone, Scientist Kylie here at the World of Wonder Science Museum here in Lodi, California. I am very excited today to be showing you how to make your very own lava lamps. These lava lamps are super fun and easy to make, and you only need a few ingredients. Our lava lamps are going to be powered by a chemical reaction. I'm going to show you how to make a couple of different lava lamps, but first we're just going to start with the basics. So what we're going to need to make a basic lava lamp is an empty bottle. I'm also going to be using Alka-Seltzer, a funnel, some food coloring, water, and vegetable oil. So let's get started, scientists. The first thing I'm going to do is take my empty water bottle and place my funnel right on the top. Next, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to fill my water bottle about one fourth of the way up with water. We're not going to use any exact measurements today because you might be using a different size bottle. I'm going to leave the funnel on top because next I'm going to be adding some oil. Oil is hydrophobic, which means it won't mix with our water. It's also less dense, which is why it creates a nice layer right on the top. So I'm going to stop adding the oil when I have about an inch left on the top of the bottle. Get this out of the way. Now it's going to get a little bit more fun because I'm going to pick what color I want my lava lamp to be. So I'm going to take some food coloring. Using green food coloring, you can use whatever color food coloring you would like to. And I'm going to put a few drops right through the top of my bottle. If you can see, the food coloring actually travels through the oil and right now it is sitting right in between the oil and the water. I'm going to take some Alka-Seltzer I'm going to open it up. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take one out and I'm going to break this into four pieces. We just want to break it up so that it can actually fit through the top of our water bottle. So you can see right there, I've broken it up into four pieces. And then all you're going to do is drop those pieces of Alka-Seltzer through the top of your bottle and watch what happens. When the Alka-Seltzer tablets hit the water, a gas is released, which is what gives us all of those really awesome bubbles. Once all the bubbles have pretty much stopped moving around in your lava lamp, it should be safe to put the cap back on. And now you have your very own lava lamp that you can use over and over and over again. Now that we've shown you the basic lava lamp experiment, I want to show you some really cool variations that you can try at home. For this version of the experiment, we use baking soda and vinegar, which also release a gas when they come into contact with each other. When the salt passes through the oil into the water, little blobs of oil attach themselves to the salt, which then float back to the top. Thank you so much for joining us in the WOW Lab again today. I hope you guys had a great time making lava lamps at home, and we really hope to see you tag us in any photos or videos of you making lava lamps yourselves. And as always, please be sure to like, follow, and comment 
right here on YouTube at Wow Sci. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Wow Sci Museum. And until next time, scientists.